So it's such a wonderful realization when you no longer feel any need to control the circumstances around you in order to control the way you feel. It's such a wonderful respite from the impossible task of trying to control the uncontrollable. It is our expectation that in these days that are before us and all of the days of your life that follow, that you will find yourself again and again right in the middle of a big mess, right in the middle of a great big vibrational mess, right in the middle of knowing so clearly what you do not want. But you won't feel the same tension that you felt before because you will understand that you are doing the important and perfect step one part of the equation and that you are asking with stronger fervor than ever before and that in this mess that you are living in any moment in time that you are launching rockets of desires and that your vortex is expanded and that your vibrational reality has become more and that your inner being is on it in a way that it has never been before and that you have a new opportunity for realizing for receiving the vibrations that will turn to thoughts and the thoughts that will turn to things on every subject that matters to you. For a while we were calling this gathering the science of deliberate creation, but you got nutty about it. You became too overactive about trying to control your thoughts. We don't want you to control your thoughts. We want thoughts to flow forth from you freely. We just want you to understand what the vibrational nature of the thoughts that are flowing forth from you is. We want you to recognize moment by moment the harmony or discord in the thought that you are thinking from the thought that your inner being is thinking about the same thing at the same time. Which means you have to come to realize that you have source energy flowing with you and aware of where you are in every moment in time and where you more importantly are in relationship to everything that you've already become. We want you to know that your inner being has already bridged that gap between your belief and your desire and you can't maintain a belief that goes against your desire and ever feel anything less than negative emotion. We think it is such a wonderful thing when you're moving through your day to day experience and you walk into a situation which is the remnant of past energy that has been flowed by you and that you experience things unwanted and you know that they're unwanted and you're having an emotional reaction to them and throwing your own little fit in varying degrees as you attempt to control the conditions which you never can as humans are spending so much time we're representing the manifested edge over here where your friends are and where the stuff you see and hear and smell and taste and touch is so you're having this knee-jerk reaction to this and while you're having this knee-jerk reaction to this your inner being is knowing something so important your inner being is knowing that you're expanding in this moment and your inner being is knowing exactly how to lead you from where you are to everything that you want relative to everything that you've ever lived. Your inner being knows that as you've lived this moment and many others like them, that you have carved out a very specific statement of who you are and what you want and how you want to live and be in the world. Every intention, some of which you were born with, some that you've come along on your physical trail as you've been moving through time and space with others. So you've launched these rockets of desire and there's a vibrational reality that your inner being knows full well. And your inner being knows in every moment where you stand in what you want to call your now in relationship to all that you've become. So as you begin to put together the things that you've been hearing from us and others and the things that life has been helping you to understand, you come to this clarity, this new found clarity that goes like this. I'm a human being. But I am far more than that. And as I have human experiences, I'm launching rockets of desire to cause my human experience and that of others around me to be more wonderful than ever before. And if I stay in the mode of just exploring what is already created, my satisfaction factor will wither away as time goes by. I will become despondent as I look at things I can't control. 
I would feel uneasy as I see groups of people seemingly come together and moving in directions that are not comfortable to me. I will feel inept and incapable as I find myself feeling powerless or I find myself in confusion about what to do. Your inner being knows that even though you may be feeling some of those things or all of those things in great degree or in slight degree, your inner being knows that there is a vibration of clarity and knows what the path of least resistance is to help you find that path of clarity from where you are. Your inner being wants you to be out here in the world, not hiding away from the discomfort of things you can't control. Your inner being wants you to be out living robustly in this world and having those experiences that are maybe even causing you some negative emotion. But in the knowledge of what negative emotion means and in the understanding that you can close that gap and come into vibrational harmony with who you are and all that you want, when you have knowledge of how to subtly understand what's going on within you energetically and you have tools to do what you need to do in order to come into full vibrational alignment with all that you are then you can be out in the world you can listen to the diverse points of view you can pay attention to the things that are going on with no fear or risk of losing yourself in this vastness you're going to come into your full power and it is our expectation that it may happen right before your eyes in the days that are before us it is our desire that you come to know the fullness of who you are and not just know it intellectually not just know it conceptually but know it because you feel it moment by moment there is something so satisfying about clarity that comes from alignment and there is something so satisfying about getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready most humans think here I am standing over here with things I don't want or without things that I do want and it feels like such a big chore because I've not been able to do it yet to get to a place of satisfaction relative to that or that or that or that or that and you make it such a big jump you make it feel like it is so impossible to get to because this much time has gone by and you haven't found it or this many things have happened and you haven't found it but what we want you to understand and it is our expectation that you will as we are having these wonderful conversations together we want you to understand that it is a simple vibrational tuning that you have the ability to understand and to apply and as you begin reaching for the satisfaction of simple alignment of the satisfaction of simple alignment not the full manifestation just the satisfaction of simple alignment and once you are willing to let the satisfaction of that simple alignment be enough for now once you are able to say and mean it I'm getting ready to get ready and your friends will say well, what does that mean in terms of the things you want and you'll say it means I'm on the way and they'll say well how do you know if you cannot see them and you say I know I know because I'm getting ready to get ready and they'll say well, when are you gonna get all the way ready and you say that is irrelevant to me the only thing that is relevant to me is getting ready to get ready well how do you know that you're ready to be ready I feel satisfied where I am now what what's wrong with you you're satisfied with where you are now when there's no evidence of what you want oh there's evidence of what I want because I can feel satisfaction as I'm getting ready to be ready but why do you claim satisfaction when there is such a gap between what you say you want or you say you are and what you are manifesting because I am using a different criteria I'm using the criteria of conscious vibrational awareness of alignment I'm paying attention to my emotional guidance system I'm finding contentment and satisfaction and I'm letting that be what I'm reaching for because I'm understanding that if I'm able to maintain for as little as 17 seconds a thought that gives me even the slightest feeling of contentment that law of attraction will begin adding momentum to that thought and to that thought and to that thought and to that thought until in time there will be enough momentum in my vibrational frequency that something more than the emotion of satisfaction will be mine a thought will occur to me a thought will occur to me that is so loud and so pure that I can't miss it and the satisfaction factor of that thought will be so intense that I will know that I'm on to something and nothing will dissuade me from the satisfaction that I feel because I know that I'm getting ready to be ready and for right now that's enough and they will say something is very wrong with you <laughs> and you'll say 
I know, but I'm getting ready to be ready. I'm getting ready to be ready. As you begin to discover, many of you are already discovering it, the vibrational frequency of alignment with the source within you. And you maintain more often that steady place of love and appreciation for no good reason other than that you're not doing that thing you do that's keeping you from it. Then out of the absence of resistance, law of attraction will carve a route for you swiftly and directly to all things that you desire. And in the beginning, it will feel to you that that is the real reason for this message. Oh, Abraham's showing us how to manifest the things that have been manifestingly missing in our experience. And we say, yeah, 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 that's part of it. <laughs> but what's really going on is that we are helping you to remember, helping you to rediscover as these creative geniuses, as these ongoing, never-ending, far-reaching, always wanting more because you are the expanding beings in this universe. You are the fun-loving otters of the universe. You are the creative genius of the universe. You've come with the purpose of discovering satisfaction while you do the natural thing of expanding. Others will say, what good are you unto the whole? if you are selfishly serving your own satisfaction. And in time, you'll be able to explain to them that until you learned how to discover the vibrational frequency of alignment and therefore satisfaction, that you couldn't begin to fulfill your reason for being. And that once you did discover it, that your reason for being became evident in every moment of every day. So that you were no longer like so many people who live in a sort of desert looking out there for some future experience, some oasis somewhere. Instead, you are someone standing in full receipt of satisfying experiences in every moment of every day. Because you are now, through your absence of resistance, seeing the world through the eyes of Source. Source who understands the importance of you. Source who understands why you're here in this body. Source that understands the purpose and the value of the argument that you had with someone today. Source who understands the clarification that came from you and the birthing of or the amending of a desire. Source who understands unequivocally your worthiness and your goodness. Source who understands the importance of you finding the satisfaction that you were born with and that you came here to exhibit in every moment of your life experience. As you are playing with each other or arguing with each other, whatever you choose to do in the days and hours that are before you. It is our promise to you that no matter what is happening in what you want to call real life experience, it is the launching off place for everything that follows. And so to begin with, we would like to encourage you to spend not one moment being unhappy with yourself or any other about anything that happens while you're together in these days. If you have an argument, so be it. It has value. If you have a misunderstanding, that's just right too. If someone says something to you that hurts your feelings, hooray. <laughs> Life is working the way you intended it to. Step one is an important part of the equation. But we also know that as a result of this perfect co-creating, that we are all about together, that you have set into motion this voyage long before you dragged your physical bodies here. It is our knowing that you have created a vibrational reality that is ripe and ready to be received by you. That And now I'm tuning to the receptive mode where the solutions are. I've been too long in the problems, and now I'm tuned to where the solutions are. We are enjoying you already. There is great love here for you. And what a wonderful time we are anticipating. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete.